I just want to say thank you to everybody who has supported me over the last 12 months. It's just over 12 months now, so 13 months since I started my YouTube channel. I love doing it. I love the feedback I get from you guys. I love the uh, interaction. I love learning from you. I've learned so much in the last 12 months. Just by putting myself out there and showing what I do, other people suggest different ways of doing things, ways they do it. I do it. We discuss what we do. We improve what we do. And yeah, it's great. I, I hope you're all happy with what I'm doing. Um, yeah, as I said, you know, it's nearly 13 months now. I started off, I had no ambitions, anything in mind other than uh, my wife and my family, my son, my daughter. They give me a kick up the ass to go and do it because I've been talking about it for a while. And some close friends did the same. Uh, little did I know what a steep learning curve it would become and uh, what a response I would got to that first video. It just blew me away. And I have actually enjoyed doing it. I almost love doing the filming and editing as I do the fishing. Not quite as much because we have technical problems. I've got one at the minute. I'm filming on my phone because the charger lid on my laptop's naffed and I've got trouble with the batteries on my GoPros. But yeah, we got there. So I just like to, I'm going to do a giveaway. There's a video attached to this as well. It's a ras fishing video. This will be a ras fishing video. It's going to be some lures. I've got a big pack of lures here. There's eight bags of new lures in here that I use to catch wrasse. These catch me wrasse. They will catch you wrasse. They're pretty universal though. You can use them for perch as well. These these nets here on the front that Rooney's Fishing Supplies .co.uk uh, kindly give me. Um, they catch, they are perch lures. So they catch perch as well. So it's not just a ras giveaway, it's a lure giveaway. Um, I hope you'll like them. You know, I'm not a rich man. I, I, I was going to throw a rod in, but I thought it wasn't really apt. Maybe we'll do that at a later date when I've reviewed it a bit more. Um, so yeah, I have to thank a few people first. So the people to thank first and foremost are yourselves. Thank you for your support. I, I absolutely love it. The I've met subscribers on the bank. I now have a good friend, Darren Rod, who is one of my subscribers. Love going fishing with him, Darren. So thumbs up to you. I mentioned a couple of our, uh, others, if I can off the top of my head. Alan Evans. Uh, yeah, you've been there from, since the start. There's lots of you. Carl Stokes, another one I interact with a lot and talk grass fishing with. So loving all of that. That, that, that for me does it for me. It's sort of anything else. Um, met some people on the bank as well. It's, it's great. I love the feedback. Please keep it up. Um, I'd like to mention Michael Weathersby from Lure Fishing for Ass. He originally got me into this social media thing by making me an admin on his uh, his group, Lure Fishing for Ass UK. He has a YouTube channel himself. River Piker, Paul Bosworth, uh, Steve Keeler, Black Country Piker. Um, the list goes on and on and on. I can't remember them all off the top of my head and you'll get bored. I'll put lots of links into channels that I watch that inspire me in one way or another. Guy Elson makes some wonderful videos. He's he's a new channel like myself, really. Um, I just love the cinematic quality of his videos and the content of them. So get over and subscribe to him. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There will be more giveaways over the coming uh, weeks and month. I'll be doing a BFS giveaway i will be doing a rod giveaway a bait casting rod that could be used for perch pike and wrasse it's a general purpose bait casting rod there may be a wheel with that or not we're going to see how things work out so please stay tuned all you have to do to enter for the giveaway is you can do it on instagram you can do it on my facebook page the constant angler you can do it on my youtube channel hopefully you'll subscribe as well just just make just comment um, and then I can pick up your name. I'll put them in a random generator app. I'll film it, show it so it's fair, and whoever wins, wins. I've done one before, and it worked out quite nicely. So, yeah, if you can do that for me, please, uh, continue supporting me because I have big plans for the coming year. I want to do more pike fishing. I want to get some bigger perch on the bank. I want to do some bass fishing. That's the only thing I've been disappointed in this year. Every time I've had the time to go and do some bass fishing, it just hasn't happened for me. The tides have been wrong, the weather has been wrong. That's fishing sometimes, isn't it? But I've caught lots of other fish. I've also started two Facebook pages of my own. It's something I never dreamed I would do. I've, I've got, if I can remember it, budget, no, sorry, BFS 
budget finesse fishing so it's bfs fishing it's something i just recently got into and i just got a bug for it now it's great flipping a lure for a, for a chub stood in the river if you watch my bfs chub fishing video you'll see me doing exactly that can't believe it happened i never caught a chub until this year and now i'm just obsessed with them and then the second group is uh lure fishing soap water hrf and lrf uk and ireland i'm sorry that's not a worldwide group i, I think i'd struggle if i made the groups worldwide the, the bfs one is really but it's going to be smaller because it's just the administration of it i might in the future once i suss things out and get some more administrators think that kind of thing it might happen so i'm out there i'm loving it i'm loving your feedback if you see me on the bank come up and talk to me i i love that side of things cheers thanks good luck with the giveaway Right, so here's the contents of the giveaway. Hope you're happy with that. There's about eight packets of different lures there. Uh... All right, hi. Well, we got down here onto this mark. Um, for my buddy Robin. Might have sent him a... Uh... He was a film star in another of my videos about this time of year for wrath and well back. Got a nice big three and a half pound wrath, something like that. Um, think she's some sort of expert now. <laughs> nah, just joking. We're somewhere we've not fished before. It might be pants. We're trying to look for marks uh, with... Uh, we can fish on different winds to where we normally are. It's taken us about an hour to get here. Um, but the plan is if this is fishable and there's fish here, on sort of easterly winds, then we've got somewhere to fish that we can't where we live because an easterly wind is the killer. So it's going to be standard Texas rigs, I'm not messing around on a new mark. Texas rigs, baits are no work, that's the best way to fish new works. Don't experiment uh, new marks, even don't experiment with new gear, new ways of fishing on new marks. Get some time under your belt, find a fish, fish rigs like the Texas rigs, simple rigs that work, or even the Jeker. And yeah, and hopefully do the business. We'll, uh, fingers crossed, you'll see what happens. Hopefully there'll be plenty of fish on the bank. Right, so uh, yeah, standard Texas rig, bead, Texas weight. This is a size 2.0 hook. Um, and I'm putting on my favorite stick baits. It's a new mark. I know these work. I have total faith in these baits. Ras just cannot ignore them and I'm um, Texas rigging it, weedlessly rigging it on the hook like that and then what I'm doing is pulling the plastic towards the eye and dropping it over the hook point and that is weedless now that I can run my finger across it and that's your best chance at not snagging I'm not saying you won't snag Right, first cast on a new venue it looks like there's rocks with weed and sandy patches in between which is great Ras territory it's not shallow reefs which are my favourite I imagine there's a fair old depth here at this mark at high tide um, you never know there's are there limpets on the rocks there's not an awful lot of limpets on the rocks are there no. so that's not a good sign but there's some there's weed and that on the rocks you you just don't know with venues you've got to just go fish them and see what's what This is the more exposed side of the point that we're on. Nothing on the first day. A little surprising, but we'll try again. You might find they're right in tight. Wind's in our face, which is fine. You might pick up something else because you're out there fishing on sand. Yeah, yeah. Might drop down a little bit, get closer to it. Yeah. No bite yet, mate. Oh, there's a bite. Yeah, got one. Yeah, right under my feet. I wondered if that was what was going to happen. Oh, can you grab the net for me? Yeah. Oh, the fish there, it's only a small one, but we're into a ras, so it's a good start. So there are ras here. Right, you get him still. Oh, he's gone around the other side now. <laughs> Hang on. 
There you are, just pull him up towards you. Don't lift him, pull him. Um, we're going to fish this side and then we're going to go the other side of the point and fish some gullies the other side in the shelter of the point. Or well, that's the plan. Um, and hope we catch there. There's obviously a few fish on this side of the point. There's not masses of fish. We haven't had lots of bites. I've literally had about four bites and two fish. And that's a two small fish. I think that's all there has been so far. Um, the structure is all here. There's nothing there. Uh, so it's all under your feet, if you can see what I'm saying. Almost, it's all just here. I prefer marks where there's rocks out there. And um, your fishing structure as you come in, it's a very clean bottom here. I would think if you if you fish the bottom rod with sandy along, you'd pick up ray, bass, possibly even turbot. So it's good to come to a mark on low tide because if you come on a low on when the tide is low, uh, you can see what you're fishing over. This looks better here. More varied cut in here. It's more like it. grass in here somewhere I would imagine. There's a bite. Yeah, go on mate. Another small fish. But it's a fish. So I thought this looked grassier. This is a very small fish so I don't need the net for this one. Let's lift him up. Yeah, I got another little one. There we go. Stunning little brown grass. Colour of the kelp in that there. Not a big fish yet though. So, three fish, three small fish. Where are the big fish? That's what we're really after. I'll take a ras, any ras. Um, I was wondering, the fish were a certain stamp I've had so far, just sort of half a pound, three quarters of a pound. No real bruises. I'm sure there are big fish about in here, there's got to be. It's, oh, there was a bite then, I think, just as I was lifting. Oh, look, another, yeah, there's a thump. That feels a little bit better fish. Go on, have it. Fucking pull it over. Couple of good thumps there, then. Yeah, still, it could be a small one, just rattling on it a lot. But we're getting bites. So I fancied the area. I like the look of it. There's weed and clearer patches more rassy and I get a nice angle on a little cut back in here so I would say there's a good size rass in here somewhere oh that was snagged then let's wind it in and check I don't know whether a fish had that or it just landed straight in a snag but you see the hooks could have been a fish actually picked it up on the drop wouldn't be surprised <clears throat> so you can see in these favorite stick baits of mine They've got a little recess. That's why I love them so much. It's really easy um, to fish weedlessly. You don't even have to take expose half the time, to be honest with it. <coughs> right, let's see if we can't winkle a good fish out. I'm going to step back a bit away from the edge. I'm going to flatter a more comfortable bit the fish. Yeah, that's better. Still get the net at the water, the net's to hand. Here's a fish again. Oh, it's the little one. It's just a little fish, that. Sometimes with these little ones, there's big ones as well. As I spoke before, they have sort of, um, I call it nests of rats. What was that then? Um, little groups of rats. One big fish with lots of smaller fish around. Um, and when the big fish dies, one of the smaller fish changes sex. I think to become a female, if, it's, if I'm correct. And uh, things go on. <clears throat> so if you're catching small fish, 
catch them and try and fish through them because it could be a big fish there. It's happened to me on more than one occasion. Ooh, there's a lot of small fish here. Just as I lift in, a little one grabbed out of the tail of that bait. Got to leave my pauses a bit longer. Ooh, got another. They're getting bigger. <laughs> Where's me net? Actually, he's not that big, is he? No, he's not very big. He's slightly bigger. So there's another little ass. That's <laughs> nice little colourings on it. Sort of a standard colour, that. Uh, we're coming up on the front of a big rock finger here now. It's low tide, so we're fishing in and amongst a lot of kelp at low tide, which generally means snags. I would really like to fish this area with some water over it and the weed floating up. Uh, more than what we are doing is fishing into it. Got one? Yeah. Keep your head right up high, mate. Right up high, keep winding. Wind like hell, don't wind slow, wind as fast as you can. And I'll get the net. Keep going. Fast, fast, fast. The robin's got one on the end here. That's it. He ain't a huge fish, but he's a, he's a reasonable one. They're getting, they're getting bigger. There we go. Right. It's the same size, isn't it? He's sort of to the same stamp he's as small, what we've having. He's, small, he's, he's small. a small one. Look he's at the colours small. on that though, Robin. Look how beautiful that fish is. Amazing, aren't they? They are just stunning they're animals. Amazing. I'll show the, the viewers there. Amazing. Where's the teeth? You can see their teeth there. See that? <laughs> Let's push them back down for him. How beautiful is that fish? Are the colours on that fish? And stocky, fit fish. Let's chuck the bait to the side. We'll have one more little look at the fish. He's in the net, so he's, he can't fall out the net. Look, how beautiful a fish is that? Stunning animal. You get one of those in four pounds. We've had them that colour in four it's pounds. The same so. disguise as a kelp. Isn't and it? <laughs> it is exactly the same colour as a kelp. Yeah. I'm sure that's what they're doing. Yeah, we'll. Uh, they're a nice little release. Maybe there's a seal nearby Shot. protecting themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You never know. Yeah, they're just burying in there. All right, Robin's had his first one. There we go. A stunning animal. We're looking, hoping for bigger fish now then. <laughs> We're getting there. We've had some fish. We've got a video, mate. It's just... All right, we'll try something a bit different first. We'll try... I haven't tried this yet. I really like, look at that. Clear with a black core. So I'm just removing a bit of the plastic with a shank of the hook goes through so that it will hook better when that goes in the water that the water itself acts, acts as lubricant need one nice fish don't we oh it is a thump go on I don't think it was massive, but... Oh, yeah, got one. He feels a bit bigger, mate. He knows, but he's a little bit better stamp, I think. I oh, know, he's just spinning around. Yeah, he's bigger. You want to get the net? So that's on that core shop Ned. He ain't huge. He's nice. But he's a beautiful ass. Best one of the day, I think. There we go. He's not a big fish again, but... It's a fish, and it's on a nedler. Right, film on hooking him. And then I'll probably drop him down in the net for a bit. Oh, there you go. So, you all right now? Yeah. So there's the ras, and there's the core shot, Ned that caught it. So it's a clear core shot with a black middle, middle and silver glitter. And he's from Rooney's Fishing Supplies. Just like, like the baits, they're tough but good. And you see it's not big ras, but it's a beautiful ras. 